Welcome back from that break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. And on Community Watch today, we'll be talking about online content creation and how sustainable is it for young Gambians who are venturing. Welcome back from that break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. And on Community Watch today, we'll be talking about online content creation and how sustainable is it for young Gambians who are venturing in it. And we're joined by young YouTuber Ricky Denise. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. So when did you start? Um, is it vlogging or? Vlogging, all of the above, vlogging. Everything. Yes. The whole Any package. type of content. Yes. All right. So, so when did this start? Um, I started in 2019 officially. I posted a video back in like 2017, but that was kind of just like a silly hair video. Mm -hmm. But me properly consistently posting and like things uh, pertaining to living in Gambia, mm -hmm. um, that started in 2019. Okay. Yes. And how has the journey been so far? I know how Gambia is. It's yeah. hard to get subscribers. Yeah. People are still trying to get used to just, you know, content creation yes. here. Yes. So it's quite difficult. But how has the journey been? Maybe it's different for you. Okay, well, first off, um, I was surprised that that many people was interested in my story. Um, but yeah, it's a very, I don't want to say rare, but you don't really commonly hear about a uh, African-American family who has no idea where in Africa they originated from, yeah. moving to Africa, yeah. um, having no affiliation with Gambia. Yeah. You don't really hear a story like that. Yeah. So I guess that's why people were so interested in watching my YouTube channel and following along. And so, um, yeah, it's because of that, thankfully, that they liked that. It wasn't so hard to get that many followers. And I'm so grateful for that. Mm. And yeah, the journey has been really great. I'm so grateful. Like I said, people are tuning in every day to my content mm -hmm. and supporting me and my family's decision to stay in Gambia. So it's very welcoming and warming. All right. So yeah. let's talk about Gambia. How does it yeah. feel? Like you mentioned, settling in a country that you have no idea yeah. about. You're not sure if you're from here or not. So yeah. first of all, why Gambia? And, you know, how do you see the people? Do you think it's really the smiling coast that we call it? <laughs> okay. First off, um, my parents chose Gambia. Um, they, they came for vacation in 2015. Mm -hmm. Prior to coming to that, to uh, Gambia for vacation, they, I believe they were in a group mm -hmm. and they initially, they always wanted to come to somewhere in Africa. Yeah. And they had three places on their list, Gambia, Zimbabwe, and Tanzania. Okay. Uh, Gambia was the first place they decided to take a trip to. And just out of those two weeks that they vacationed, they were like, Gambia is a the place they want to be. We okay. want to bring all the children here and move here. Mm -hmm. And so the following year, we came here. And yeah, it was definitely a culture shock because, you know, me, I am I came when I was 15 and I was so used to the American lifestyle and having everything so convenient. Yeah. Um, it was it was it was bad for me, but it was also good because, of course, as I'm 15, I'm able to grow into womanhood and becoming an adult. Yeah. And I learned so much and it made me so much more humble living mm -hmm. here because I've seen things that I would have took and I have before taken so much for granted living mm -hmm. in America, like running water, hot water, uh, electricity 24-7, yeah. yeah. things like that that you see while you're 15 going into adulthood it really humbles you and makes you so much more open-minded as yeah, an individual. Right. So for that, I'm so grateful that I was able to have. And with that being said, like experiences like that and realizations really just, I can't even put into words how it makes me feel because, sorry, it, <laughs> it, it, not many people at that age can have that experience yeah. and it really makes you so much more just great as a person because you just see different ways of life and yeah. the way people live you mm. know and you have so much more respect for people yeah. mm. when you're in those type of positions okay let's 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 take a look at the things that you love about mm. the gambia mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. there must be things that are uh, making you stay here mm -hmm. love this country definitely yes yes okay and as she said earlier uh the nickname that gambia has for herself is the smiling coast of africa and they literally live that down to the t because like if you go outside right now, you always you cannot go outside and not have one person not talk to you. Yeah. Everybody's so welcoming and they're always there to ask you, how's your day? Yeah. They'll even go as far to say, how's the family? And yeah. they don't even know if yeah. I got family like that, but they still have the courtesy to ask you, how is your family? How's your day? How are you feeling? In America, well, where I was, it wasn't that common you know, to have that. People just not even knowing you, asking you, how are you? And mm. 
things like that. Everyone is so kind. Well, most people here is mm -hmm. very, very kind and welcoming and not even just the asking how you are, but I always say this, you'll be walking and somebody will eat, they will be eating and they'll invite you to come and eat. Yeah. Things like that that make you feel so like acknowledged yeah. and loved. And I really mm -hmm. love that. Well, yeah. that's, that's Gambia. And it's quite different yes, from Gambia for abroad. You. What you abroad, yes. And it's even mm. quite different from our neighbors. Yeah. Even mm. you know, <laughs> I, I've been to Senegal mm -hmm. and we got stuck at some point, yes. and we could not even have help. Mm -hmm. And we spoke to one of the people there. We are like, in Gambia, you don't get stuck. Everyone no, is. Everyone is willing to help yeah, you. Absolutely. You know. So this, these are just experiences that we get to have outside I, and the I'm country. So grateful. For yeah. That. So let's talk about the topic itself. Is um. Content creation really sustainable? It does it pay the bills? Can it pay the bills in Gambia? Okay, so obviously you know uh, that is a very broad question. It it, 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 it it fluctuates with different people. Yeah. You know, it can be that way if you're consistent and you do the work and do you know what YouTube needs you to do to mm -hmm. make that money. It it can yes, and it it's just I I wish people really knew the power of social media. As I said with my interview to Annabelle in uh, my interview with her. Yeah. Uh, social media is very powerful and mm -hmm. it's a lot of money that can be made doing social media. Are you making the money? I'm making some, <laughs> some money, <laughs> I will say that, mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for that. Okay. Um, but some people would think, okay, you got like 100,000 views. Yeah. Some of my video videos have 100, more than 100,000 views, mm -hmm. and they would think, oh, she's making a lot of money from yeah. that. And a lot of YouTubers would tell you, it's not just about the views, it's about people who watch the ads. You okay. gotta get people watching those ads okay. on your videos. Yeah. And, um, of course, stuff outside of YouTube, you mm -hmm. can get like sponsorships yeah. and brand deals. Yeah. Those things, you can get money on the side mm -hmm. with doing, using your platform. So when you build up your platform, you can, you know, reach out to companies and work with them. And those things, you can get extra money from that. So it all plays hand in hand, you know. Mm -hmm. So how many subscribers do you have? Currently, I have 48,000, almost 49,000, yes. You've, so mentioned, you've mentioned something that I am interested to know. Yes. You said um, you for you to do what YouTube want you to do. Yes. I mean, to get more followers. Mm -hmm. um, most people are using the social media today mm -hmm. and they go beyond mm -hmm. just to get followers yes. and viewers. Yeah. Um, for me, decency, it's very important when it comes to social media mm -hmm. content. And people, sometimes they break the barrier mm -hmm. to do whatever. Mm -hmm. yep. um, what does this mean to you? Uh, for me, I feel like uh, it's very important, and I know this is very cliche to say, but just be yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, stop trying to copy what you see people um, doing, like yeah. in America or UK. Being your genuine self and, you know, showing what your country has to offer. Yeah. And showing, like, how different we are from the norm, mm -hmm. you know, that's beautiful within itself. Why would you want to be like somebody else? And like you said, um, some people can go far off what is considered decent, you yeah. know, and to kind of like sell yourself in that way mm -hmm. and like sell yourself out and just just not being true to yourself yeah. is just so, for me, it's just very cringy to see. Yeah. So I really appreciate those YouTubers who, ha like some I have watched from the beginning, they've never changed who they are yeah. just because they got a little bit of more money or yeah. fame. They don't let it go to their head. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'll, I will never want to be like that. Mm. Uh, selling myself, you know, and not being true to myself. I would never want to. Well, I, I know creating a content is very difficult. It and is. Yep. Um, uh, uh, tell us the steps you do okay. to, to get a content that people will follow. Okay, well, first you have to think of an idea mm -hmm. and think of what you think. You can't always just think what you as the person will like. You have to think as a viewer. What is a viewer going to like? Can you sit up there and watch this video for 10 minutes straight? Yeah. You know, uh, that is very important mm -hmm. to capture the attention of that viewer and make sure it's a topic that is very educational as well. What are you teaching your viewers? Mm -hmm. And for me, for example, like my videos, I'll just give an example, like going to Saracunda Market, how you can go there and what you might find there yeah. and how not to get cheated. Yeah. This is the normal price and yeah. they may give you this price because of course you're a foreigner. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, things like that, what you can be teaching and I'll think of that idea, of course, go to Saracuna, record it, and um, come back, use my editing things, and then upload it to YouTube. Okay, so mm. you film, edit, do everything. Yeah, I film yeah. everything. And I film everything on my smartphone. Yeah. And that's what people don't think. They'll, they're always so surprised. You have to use, like, a camera, for They think example. that you'll use, like, yeah. an expensive thing. But nope, I just use my iPhone, use all my apps on my iPhone, and, and 
that and it look where I it's think this me. lecture is good for me. The reason <laughs> why, <I> started, <laughs> see? Yeah. The reason why I ask, yeah. I mean, I think since 2019, yeah. I'm still going down with 24 views <laughs> 20 <laughs> on really? my YouTube. I mean, no, you got to be consistent. That <laughs> is the most important yeah. thing to be consistent. Yeah, right. and, and I agree when you say you have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. I started a little, I started with about seven, eight videos, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the trend was there. And mm -hmm. then at some point when I skip two weeks mm -hmm. and I do not upload, then it's you harder. will see that it's harder. Definitely. So consistency, I think, when you're trying to create content is, is, is very important. Absolutely. YouTube's algorithm is nothing to play with. Once you're consistent, people are seeing your face more and more yeah. often. They have no choice to be like, who is this person? I keep seeing her face pop yeah, up. Yeah. Click, and then they're they tuned in. They will continue. In. Yep. Yes. Mm. Absolutely. I love your hair. Thank you. So is this a thing for you? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not all mine, girl, but <laughs> 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 it's not all mine, but yeah, um, part of it is mine. It's, um, it's, so, it's, 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 it's weird. Is that the, Bra okay. is well, that the Brazilian? We call no. it Bra I, I don't know them. Anyway, I, 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 I don't know them. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> let, let's talk about skincare a little yeah. bit. Because, okay. you know, coming from America and mm -hmm. coming to Gambia, mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe the skincare products that yeah. are available there and mm -hmm. here is different. And I see you're Very able different. to maintain a nice skin. Thank you. You know, so, <laughs> so what are you using? You know, how difficult was that okay. as well? Yes, a lot of my products have different. Uh, initially in America, I was using some product. Uh, I don't know if you know it, but it's called Dr. Bronner's, yeah. a Castile soap, and that was my favorite. Mm -hmm. But coming over here, um, since I since I've been here, 2016, yeah. I've been using African black soap, and I've been loving that. And I'm yeah. just like, this is what I've been missing. And I've been seeing, like in America, they be trying to make their own version of black soap, and it's like it's nothing compared to getting it from the makers themselves. Yeah, West exactly. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that has done stuff to my skin that yeah. I've never that that Castile soap cannot yeah. do. So okay. black soap. All the way. I'm wearing no makeup today because of the black soap, y'all. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> and, and we that live in Africa do not want to use black soap. Definitely. We want to use, yeah, some people want to use other products. And that, that stuff will mess up chemicals. your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will mess up your face. It will mess up and your you face. And you feel like, oh, if I stop using it, my skin will break out. And that's yeah. why they make it that way. Yeah. So you feel you're only obligated to use, to use that, that chemical. Yeah. yeah. So and I think your skin tone is perfect. Thank you. And I, the hair too. The natural way. And that's another thing. Living here, I've because I didn't have access to those products I was using, I was forced to do like things the natural way. And that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Your skin, it will become its natural glow using natural products. Yeah. So, yeah. And you're wearing Ankara too. Ankara, yeah. yeah. Made by Faya Gambia, y'all. Shout out to Faya. She made this for me and my best friend. We got okay. matching ones. And yeah, she's a really great Gambian designer. Yeah. She does an amazing job. So shout Looking out. at your face mm. and the way you're smiling, I feel like you're enjoying Gambia. Absolutely. You yes. are enjoying. Definitely. So just finally, what message do you have for young people out there who also want to become content creators? <sighs> As I said before, y'all, just, just be yourself. Um, which camera do I look at so I can talk to you? <laughs> just be yourself, y'all. Yeah, y'all. right there. Just be yourself. Yeah, or there. Honestly, mm -hmm. um, don't try and copy what everybody else is doing. Do be yourself and definitely if you're in Gambia show I want to see more people showing the beauty of Gambia the good and the bad because it's not all sunshine rainbows yeah. yet but show things from your perspective I think that is so important uh, that people a lot of people are looking to come to Gambia mm -hmm. so if you're in Gambia and you got a smartphone definitely get into YouTube TikTok Instagram show the beauty show Gambia off because it's so underrated and I'm so grateful we moved here yeah. it is such a hidden gem and mm -hmm. I put emphasis on hidden gem because before coming to Gambia, I knew nothing about it. And mm. now, I, all I want to do is just show it off. And right. I want more people to do that. Okay, so, so what's your YouTube handle? Ricky Denise. Okay, Ricky, Ricky Denise, Denise, as in R-I-C-K-I-D-E-N-I-S-E. -E. Correct. Okay, so yes. go on YouTube go and subscribe. subscribe to her YouTube channel and Ricky get to Denise. know um, <laughs> things that are happening. I've learned a lot as an aspiring content creator. Yes, I would say aspiring go. because I've it. not been consistent. So I'll say aspiring. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from you. Yes. And like I said, oh, I love your skin and Thank I love you. your hair. And Same I'm, to you. Yeah, and I'm happy that you're able to get the products that you need in Gambia to Thank you so keep much. your skin glowing. Thank you. All right, looking forward to another engagement. Thank you so much. All it was right. nice meeting you guys okay. and talking with you. All right, Thank so you. we'll go for a short commercial break and we'll be right back. Channel.